Korea. It was the scene of one of the most bitterly fought armed conflicts since World War II. It was known as a United Nations police action in which many different countries fought side by side against the communist North Koreans and the Red Chinese. Countless men distinguished themselves during this time, rising to a sense of duty and patriotism far beyond the ordinary or expected. Among them were the fiercely determined but yet unrecognized young men from the island of Puerto Rico. Join us now as we take an up-close look at the fighting 65th U.S. Infantry. About 9.30 to 10 o'clock, we make a hasty attack. At this time, the FDC will fire two missions. At first glance, these soldiers may look and sound like foreign troops, but they're not. They are, in fact, members of one of the most decorated American combat units of the Korean War. They are the men of the 65th Infantry Regiment, now a National Guard unit based in Puerto Rico. For that mission, we need a, a H hour. Sancho! Fire mission! Two weeks every year, these troops go through maneuvers and live up to the high standards and proud tradition established by the former men of the 65th Infantry. Today, they're a part of a respected military command. But 40 years ago, that was not the case. At uh, what time did the shower sequence uh, change? Over. We'll take an up-close look at the men who make up today's Fighting 65th when we return. 